Hey world, this is the Hacker Triple Seven, and today I'm bringing you guys a video recommended by 2010 Intel Core. Um, basically, how to make, how to completely customize your Windows 7 or Vista desktop, and I mean completely. So, um, I'll get right to it. So first things first is changing to custom third-party themes. Now, this is something a lot of people have. It's not that hard. It's just basically changing the background of your Explorer, buttons, stuff like that. Currently, I'm running the Dark Agility Blue theme. I, w I suggest pausing this video and looking in the description. I will have a link to a different video of mine on how to enable third-party themes. Watch that, get third-party theme, and then come back to this. I don't have enough time to explain how to do that, too. Okay, now I'm going to do some basic start it off. So I have a normal wallpaper, you know, it's nothing big. And right here I have the is dock. Now most people are used to me using a program called Rocket Dock. Awesome dock, really is. This one right here is a program made by, made by the, the uh, Star Dock Industries, I believe. I'm not exactly sure, I forget. This, this program is called Object Dock. It's a great program. It actually automatically loads all of your default. When, like, let's say your when you start it on, your Windows custom your the icons on your Windows Seven taskbar will automatically be preloaded into this. So these ones right here are automatically preloaded into it, and then you can simply just drag icons into the dock and they'll be added for permanent for permanent staying there. Basically, it comes with a um, weather widget too. And other ones you can download for free. As I put my mouse over, it loads the weather for the current where you currently are. So I'm in Windsor. Boom. And right here it has, if you click this, it's actually a start menu. So if you right click any icon, you can go to the settings and hit settings or hit quit to actually close it. These are your settings. Now this program has a free and pro version. The pro version comes like, a, like any other pro pro program it comes with a couple extra features I guess you could say to me there isn't that big of a deal so you know whatever but I have the free version sorry this is taking a bit to open my computer is doing actually a lot of stuff right now as you see in the corner here the CPU is actually full and the RAMs got up there a bit so as you see here, this is your docs. You can always create a new doc. So you can actually have about three of these, or four, or as many as you can fit on your screen. So right here, this is where you can customize your current doc. So on your doc, you have a certain amount of icons, your size, your color, stuff like that. Now if you go to the actual settings, this you can load startup. So this basically means when you turn your computer on, it'll be automatically on. If you uh, hit hide the Windows 7 taskbar, it will automatically hide the Windows 7 taskbar. So as you see, if I put my mouse down here, Windows 7 taskbar is nowhere to be seen. If I go on the whole desktop, you are not finding Windows 7 taskbar. If I disable this, if I go down here, Windows 7 taskbar has appeared. But if I hit this again, completely gone. So I have that. If you go in here, you can also choose some, some more options, and obviously through here is a couple more options. And here you can just couple little settings. And that's not that's not too heavy. I'll have a link in the description to download this program. Now this is the big one. Rain meter. If you guys haven't heard what rain meter is, um, you can just Google it, whatever. I'll explain it to the best of my ability. Rain Meter is a program that has been made to skin your computer. Now, I mean by this is basically add icons, I guess you could say, on your desktop that look like they're part of your desktop. So, as you can see, all of these are basically icons. Um, some have different features, some do different things, stuff like that. This one right here moves. As you can see, I can basically prove it's an icon because I can move it. As you see, I'm just easy throwing it around. And then I put it back where I want it. All of these around the whole computer are movable. This right here, I can slide up and down. 
this one's not locked. Um, I can move this one around, right? But I have it locked in the corner, obviously. This one is customized for the actual start menu, and it displays your RAM, CPU, in your hard drive, and your other drive. And then right here, I have these other ones. Now, each one of these actually opens up a certain program. As you probably guessed, this one opens up YouTube. This one opens up Messenger. Uh, Media Player, Photoshop, and Firefox. This one opens up your default browser in Google, DeviantArt, Facebook, and YouTube. Right here I have, um, it basically just displays the current moon, I guess. It's kind of pointless, but whatever. And if I click this one, it'll actually open up Notepad. And up here I have basically another dock. And I have time and stuff like that. This one right here I think is the most, one of the most useful ones. It actually tells you how much your computer is downloading and uploading at the moment. So now I want to get into basically adding this onto your computer and running it. So you're going to need to open when you first download the program. You need to open up one of its counterparts called Rain Browser. This will allow you to enable a theme and select options. There's another one that will come in there called Rain meter. This one is the one you want to start up just to start the skins. So if I go down to the rain meter section, I have rain meter help, skin installer, so this is what you're going to use to actually install it, skins. Now it comes with two default skins. This one right here I have right now is a custom skin called Space. Um, I will have a link in the description to download this custom skin. There are many different custom skins. You can get ones that look like Halo games that have like the grenade icon as a thing, you know, have a gun as something else. There's many different kinds, and you can actually make your own using your own different certain images and stuff. So using the Rain Browser, this is basically your right here. So basically, you can go to Edit Settings, Browse Skins, Restart Rain Meter, and Refresh All. So I'll go through all these. If you go to Edit Settings. It is basically a text file. Now, you have to know a little bit about um, settings, I guess you could say, to use this program. Because when it opens up for settings, everything's always open in a text file. So now, if you go to browse skins, these are the current installed skins. I have about three extra, I believe. So it's going to open up an area. This is where you're going to need to push your skins. In your documents folder, there'll be a skins folder. Open that up, and when you, when you download a skin from me or whoever else, put the skins in this folder. You're going to have the two default ones are these two. Um, this one right here, I don't know how to pronounce it, in Geno Genometer, or whatever. And the rest of these are just custom ones that I have myself. You put them in there, and then you can actually just open them up. So once you have it in there, you can actually hit up here and hit Rain Themes. And this is how you can actually turn them on. So here you'll have different ones, and you can just load them. So you're going to need to save right here, Rain Backup. That's the one you need to save it as. So once you have your thing, everything set up, you hit Save, and then basically, or sorry, no, Auto Save. Once you have everything set up here, right, once you have what you're liking, go down here, type in, or click auto save once, or if it's not there, type in auto save and hit save, and then it'll be permanently saved. So if you decide to run Rain Meter when your computer starts up, it will take a bit, like a minute to load basically, but it will load it automatically. And we, here we have Rain Backup, so you can actually save current like layouts so that you can reload them at any time. Basically, it's a little backup area. So you can right here you can hit back up and now back it up. Now I'm gonna that's about it for that that area. So now I'm gonna show you little parts. So by right clicking on any um rain mirror skin, it will allow you to have options for it. So as you see the the, the right click menu is a lot different than right clicking on just the plain old desktop. So if I right click on one of them, if I right click on one of them, it will give me options. So if I click the top one, 
it's going to open up the folder that has displays all of the or just the options for this one. So right here we have the note configuration settings. This one you don't really need to worry about. If you want to actually change what it, what it says right here, go down to notes.txt. Open up notes on text and write in the title here. This is where you write your title. I have notes, obviously. And then for notes, put your first one here and then put dashes or whatever you want and go down. And then it has to end with this right here. That'll be our default in there. Just change them. Now, again, there's other ones. So, for example, this one right here, if I right click the book one, it's going to have its settings. So we're, you're going to have the pictures so you can actually add your own in there. And then the what did they do. So for the Google one, the Google right here, we're going to have execute. And it's going to execute. Where is it? It's going to execute basically the browser. So right here we're going to have, right there it is. We have launch Google Chrome and load Google. Now you can change that to Firefox or Explorer or whatever you, whatever browser you choose to open. You can do that basically with all of them. Now there's other options like right clicking on a one. You can also add this variance. So let's say there's a different version of that um, type of skin. You can actually load that one automatically. Now if you go down settings, you can put position click through, keep on screen, stuff like that. Most of the default options are good. Now if you go to skins, you can actually load more skins. So I'm going to show you one. This one right here I don't have loaded because if you go to the space you can tell that each one, the ones that have little dots in there are automatically loaded. Now I'm going to load one that, has, that I don't have loaded. Now, I'm not sure, maybe there's a little error on that one. I might, I might have deleted that one. But here, I'll, I'll load a different one. So I'll load one of the default ones. Right here is one of the default ones. Now the problem is I have... See, it might, mine might load underneath one of them, so I'm not going to play around too much with this. I'll open up another email and see if it actually shows... If it doesn't show, it might be. It might be. Oh, there's one. Okay. So here's one of the ones that loaded. This is one of them. So right here, if you right-click on this one, you can go. There's variants, skin settings. If you right-click on here, and you can, you can basically set it up to uh, launch your email browser. I, I, I'm. A, or we'll, we'll take a look at it. So open up the text or the. Uh, settings file and you can put in your Gmail username and password and it will basically load your emails for you and you can basically check your emails from your home screen. Now whenever you don't do not want a, uh, a skin you all right click and hit unload skin. So that's about it. Um, I'm gonna have to end this video soon because I only have a 15 minute limit and I'm approaching the 14 minute mark. So that's about it for this video. If you guys have any questions, if I didn't clear anything up, let me know and I'll make a video part two and I'll just continue on. But I think that's about it. Um, anything else, email me, um, post a comment, and I'll help you for there. So that's about it. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Again, this is for 2010 Intel Core. And have a nice day. Again, thanks for watching the video. If you want your comment and video suggestion made, please post a comment below or contact me in a private message. And that's about it for this video. Follow me on Twitter. I'll have the link in the description. And have a nice day. This is the Hacker Triple 7, and I'm signing off.